Good morning, everybody. I am so glad everyone's here. Uh, we had a little bit of technical difficulty. I wasn't able to use my laptop webcam, so you don't get to see the beautiful setup that I have going on here uh, for my <laughs> unboxing and first ever Get Ready With Me video. So here we are on my phone, and that's okay. You know, we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna have fun. So as you can see, I wet set my hair last night, and I'm just gonna take my hair down and, uh, yeah, you know what? We'll start with something else. I don't feel like taking my hair down just yet. Okay, so my first Avon order, I got this product here. It is um, Recovery Cream. And oh, I have really, really, really sensitive skin. You can't really tell it right now, but here and here and in here and around my nose, I get really, really patchy uh, dry skin and it's been a pain since I was 16 years old. So I've been fighting this for like 30 years plus. So this cream, hi Milagros, this cream here comes with this cute little spatula and okay, so it's got this little protective thingy here. I'll hold this up here so you can see it. Good morning, Carlos. Okay, so this stuff smells amazing. It's, uh, it reminds me of something from when I was a little girl. I, it's clean, it's not a heavy fragrance. It's very, um, very lightweight. Ooh, it's nice and thick too. So, so I'll show you, like, it's, it's thick. It's not like a thin runny kind of thing. So I'm just gonna use a little bit because Oh, heavenly it smells heavenly because I'm not a huge like put cream all over thick goop but okay so face is clean started with a clean face dry face nothing nothing special oh my gosh this is okay this stuff feels amazing get a little bit more put it on my forehead and let that seep in real quick because I have crazy crazy dry and sensitive skin like it doesn't matter what product i use i can't really even wear foundation because it makes my skin peel hi sunil um so oh, oh it smells so good you guys um it's oh wow it's really feels emollient like it really soaks into the skin it feels really really oh, Oh, it's so amazing. I love it so much. All right, so I'm so glad that when I was picking things to try out for the very first time from this campaign that I chose this one because it is so awesome. So awesome. Okay, so once again, that's this product right here. I am not even sure how to pronounce it. I'm going to rely on my high school French that says Dr. Belmour, I think is what it is. All right, so this, oh, so lovely all right so we're gonna let that sink in for a little bit and uh, while that's sinking in I'm gonna talk a little bit about my Avon memories and growing up so when I was a little girl there was a neighbor that I had who lived around the corner and I was the only kid in the neighborhood it was all elderly folks and my parents and we lived in this cul-de-sac down in Orlando behind the bluebird orange juice factory and so the neighbor who lived around the corner, she sold Avon. And I remember um, buying this kit uh, one year and I was nine years old because when I researched when this kit was for sale, it was in 1982. So I was nine. I had just turned nine when that campaign launched. And I remember being so intrigued by it and I kept, that product for oh goodness all the way through elementary school middle school high school college uh and into my 20s i had this product and maybe about 10 or 15 years ago i was going through an old makeup case and i was throwing out old makeup and i this product was in there and i threw it out and I have kind of been sad that I did that because it had it was such a happy memory for me and I really regretted it I mean 
I very rarely regret getting rid of old product that is dried up or whatever, but this particular thing I really, really loved and I was sad that I got rid of it. So as one does, you go on the internet and you go looking for those elusive things that for your memories from your childhood and then you find them and you go, oh my goodness, I can't believe this is available and you find one and you pay way too much money for it on eBay because it's one of those things that is just a moment in time and you have to have it because it's a moment in time. And so it came and I've been sitting on my hands and I did not, did not want to touch the box it came in. I didn't want to do anything until today because I, I wanted to be as surprised as you guys are going to be when you see it. And so I'm going to save that for a little later on, but that is why we're here today. So the other reason why we're here is because in my first Avon order, um, I was thoroughly intrigued by, well, let me rewind. I'm a vintage enthusiast and I grew up in the 70s and there were certain things that very much remind me of my childhood and when I was browsing the online catalog, the digital catalog for Campaign 24, I saw something that took me right back to my childhood and that would be this right here. I remember friends having cat bubble bath at their house in their bathroom and I never had the cat bubble bath we had skin so soft and we had the regular Avon bubble bath with the ripple like the ripple side bottle uh, but I never had the cat and I I'm a cat person and my cat is right there <laughs> and so I was intrigued and as a vintage enthusiast you know I had to have it so here it is and my bathroom is this color, so I'm, I'm totally, totally thrilled with it. And, oh, there we go. Headless Kitty. So I always love to smell everything. I'm, I'm really big on fragrance. Oh. oh, that smells so good. I wish I could share the smell through the camera. I really wish I could. This one is called, what's her name? Her name is Yvette. Pretty Perfect Bubble Bath. Yes, and this is from Campaign 24, which is coming up here in just a few days. I'm so excited. So got my vintage kitty cat, which will go in my bathroom, but I had to have it with me here for now. And part of the Campaign 24, the new stuff that's coming out is this uh, Love in Paris, the ooh la la kind of thing. And I think that now I've got my moisturizer all soaked into my face. We can talk about cosmetics. So this is the packaging that the eyeshadow palette comes in, which is really beautiful. I really love it. Very feminine, very vintage. And again, I am a major vintage enthusiast. I love vintage style. I love vintage music, vintage sewing patterns. Uh, if you could see the rest of my space, you would see that I have vintage stuff everywhere including sewing patterns and piles all around the floor. So this is the eyeshadow palette and it's absolutely gorgeous. It takes me right back to the days of the movie musicals and it's really quite sweet. And it says, create a more radiant you. What a lovely sentiment. You open it up and you've got all these eyeshadows and I, I don't even know if you can really see how pigmented they are. Let me take this plastic thing off here. Take the plastic off. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to talk about these shades over here. These two shades are super vintage, like the rose pink and the dusty blue. Those colors were super popular in the 1950s. Um, so you really get the sense that this is a vintage inspired collection. And then you have your really bright You've got your bright orchid here, which I'm going to try and show you guys right there. And you've got this green and blue here, which are pretty much like a peacock color. I haven't tried them on yet, but I'm, we're going to try some colors. I don't know which colors we're going to try. 
because I'm I have really sensitive eyes and so I normally don't really wear much in the way of eyeshadow but I kind of really fell in love with this and thought oh my gosh I gotta have this even if I only wear it every once in a while at least you know I'll have it and I can try it and talk about it so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna try some eyeshadow which I can't really see because I only have my little phone camera here um, but it's really really beautiful and oh there's a sapphire color did we see this check this one out that is a bright sapphire blue and speaking of bright sapphire blue we got to talk about avon charmed here in a minute uh, because these colors the gold the peacock blue the green and the sapphire they remind me so much of the avon charmed perfume that is coming out the limited edition only 1800 and change of them have been made and the book that i got that has the sample oh my goodness oh, the smell is exquisite exquisite and boy oh boy what i wouldn't do to get a bottle of that and get my hands on a bottle of that so let's start with some eyes here i've got my little compact mirror and see what we're gonna do here i don't know what color i should use anybody got any suggestions for what color i should try today I mean, there's baby blue, there's pink, gold, purple, smoky gray. Hmm. Let's start with, let's start, we'll, we can always start light and go darker. So you know what? We're going to, we're going to rock a vintage baby blue eyeshadow today because I haven't worn blue eyeshadow since the 1980s and why not? So like I said, I very, very rarely ever wear eyeshadow. Ooh. All right, so this eyeshadow, the it's very sheer when you put it on. Ooh, there we go. Oh, I got that all in the corner of my eye. Yeah, all right, well, we can go with that. All right, so as you can see, whew, that is really in there. Um, it's a nice baby blue. And I'm going to suspect that it is very buildable and just do that one and then we'll do the other one see if it can come out better because i always do one and it looks horrible and then i do the other one and it looks better i think it's one of those things where one side is easier than the other okay all right so let's see like i said this side is better than that side i'm gonna look like a panda here in a minute but that's okay because we can always that's the beauty of this kind of thing. You can always take it off, start over, and play around. All right, so there we go. Some blue on there. Blend that in in the corner. Smoke that out. Okay. I feel like I overdid it a little bit on that side. Probably because I can barely see. Because it's... Because my lighting... You can, all right, let's see here. Let's see what we can do with the lights. Ah! Whoo! Okay, that's too much. All right. Yeah, I don't like that light. That light is annoying. All right, so let's do... Let's add some contrast. I'm going to do a little bit of... Uh, just champagne color. We'll play with champagne color eyeshadow. Like I said, I do not always wear a lot of eye makeup because... I have super sensitive eyes, but so far so good. Normally at this point, I would be itching and reacting. Hi, Rose. Um, so not itching and reacting. All right, I get some more of the champagne colored eyeshadow in here. Blend it in. Yeah, totally not used to wearing color on my eyes. I'm normally, I do, if I do eyeshadow, it's like a neutral color because one, I've never really been that great at eyeshadow. Um, but for you today, we're doing colored eyeshadow. All right, so I've got my glimmer stick. This was one that was gifted to me by my Avon mentor and it's the glimmer stick. Whew, there we go. Glimmer sticks eyeliner, black and green. It is not the waterproof, it's just the regular. The waterproof does not come in this color. So here we go. We'll put this on here and see what that looks like. I have really hooded eyes and so trying to, 
the cat's trying to get in the window. I, trying to do eyeliner and eyeshadow has always been kind of an interesting proposition for me. Oh, that looks so much better now. I have hazel brown eyes, so I tend to kind of try and stay a little neutral. Uh, but yeah, all right. Okay, so what are you doing? To Thank you. The cat put her claws, okay, into the curtain and oof, the light from the sun is now really harsh over there. I don't, don't like, 10 out of 10 do not recommend harsh lighting. Oh, that's better. All right, so time for some eyebrows, I think, yes? Let's do some eyebrows. So I have the Glimmer Sticks Brow Definer and mine is light brown and also gifted to me by my mentor. So just draw some eyebrows on here because as you can see, I have none. Um, I used to think, and I don't know where I got this idea, that I had uh, plucked them all out when I was in high school. Um, Cause I, when I was in high school, I guess I felt like I had really, 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 really thick brows a la Frida Kahlo, but uh, if I go back and look at the pictures of me as a kid, I didn't have thick brows. I was delusional. Okay, so here we go. Got some eyebrows on. I got some eyeshadow on. All right, next up. This is the Avon True Color Love at First Lash Mascara in, I can't read this because my uh, blackest black. All right, so normally I wear brown mascara um, because... I just typically don't really feel like black mascara is the best for me. Hi there, welcome. So, but this one came in my new representative uh, kit that I purchased and I thought, well, hey, we'll give this a whirl and see what I think. I can't talk about it unless I try it. And so here we go. Let's see what I think here can't really see in my phone screen, so we'll get my little compact mirror here. All right, hey, I really like this. I have used some other products, including Lorac and really spendy stuff, and I actually, this brush, I like this just as much as the really, really expensive mascaras. It really works for me, I like. I had used to have really, 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 really cat, don't do that to my curtain, really long eyelashes. And these outer ones will still hit the top of my eye um, and get mascara on my eyelid. So I normally wear contact lenses uh, for distance, but I'm not wearing them today, but I will have to try this with them to see how my super sensitive eyes react to the whole enchilada here of wearing a full set of eyes. So here we go. I can't tell if my mascara is even. Oh, there we go, little, little eyebrow, eyelashes in the corner. All right, I'm thinking I might need some fake eyelashes at this point. Middle age has done a number on my eyelashes. Okay. Here we go, we're getting down to the wire here. All right. Oh, I like this, I like this a lot. Um, it's actually quite weightless. It doesn't feel clumpy when it goes on and itchy eye, itchy eye. Um, I really like it. I'm, I'm not used to wearing, like I said, I don't typically wear a lot of eye makeup because of my sensitive eyes, but I enjoy this. This is great stuff. So we're almost done with my face because typically I don't wear anything but moisturizer and lipstick. That's it. I am not a makeup person necessarily. I will get my makeup done if I'm going out for an event or something like that, or if I'm competing somewhere, I will 
pay to have this done by someone who is a professional <laughs> because I've never been that adept at applying makeup. Seriously, Kat, what is your damage? Stop that. She's got her claws in the curtain. So coffee, coffee break. Mm. So that is the uh, mascara that came in my new representative kit and the eyeshadow that came from campaign 24. Super excited about that. Some other good stuff that came in my new rep kit uh, was, let's see here, Honey Blossom Perfume or Eau de Parfum Spray, which I'm a sucker for a great scent. Ooh, this box is tight. Open, please. All right. I'm going to pry this box open because I want to get in here and smell this. All right. Ah, there we go. Nothing a good set of tweezers can fix. All right, so let's look at this bottle. Is this not beautiful? That's the back side and the front side. You know, so many perfume bottles, they're pretty from one direction and then the back is like a label or something, but this is really quite thoughtful. The, you know, the design of the packaging. Oh, yet again, another scent. All right, this one's mine now. <laughs> Cat didn't like that. Oh. Oh, this is beautiful. It's very light. Um, there's a hint of floral and you know, for the life of me, it kind of reminds me of Kenzo flower. Um, oh, yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it smells really clean. It's got like a hint of like a powder fragrance, but nothing too overpowering. It's, oh my goodness. I'm in love. All right, so back to products. So we next thing we have here is the Magix Prime. This is a foundation primer with sunscreen. And I am going to give this to my daughter who is a dancer who needs to wear primer under her foundation to make sure that it sticks for competition. And I'm gonna have her report back to me on how this works. Um, but my friends who are makeup artists and who wear lots of makeup from time to time they do swear by primer so I will report back on how this works out a couple other things I got one of them is the vitamin C serum which I hear amazing things about and I can't wait to try but I want to only try one new face product at a time because my skin is so sensitive so today I'm using the recovery cream and tomorrow I will try the vitamin C serum and we will find out how it works. The last thing I got in my new representative kit was the eyeshadow quad and that's this one here. Let's look at it. How do I open? Oh, there it is. There's a little button. So this is what it looks like. Very pretty. And then there you go. See, these are the colors that I am most likely to wear. These are your neutrals. You've got and they're numbered, so for people who are like not makeup experts, uh, people like me, one goes, I'm assuming, all over, two goes in another spot, three is another one, and four is, they're numbered. So it's like paint by numbers. So how cool is that? You can barely see the numbers embossed in there, but there they are. So that was all the good stuff that came in my new representative kit and the goodies that I got from my mentor and my first order. So now I'm going to take my hair down because it's starting to annoy me having curlers in. So we're going to talk some more about why my company or my business is called Regally Beautiful. Uh, a couple things. I own a business called The Regal Needle and I do custom pageant sashes and I do pageant alterations. Thank you, Carlos. And so when I was speaking with my mentor about starting my Avon business, he's like, you really should think about tying it into your existing company, you know, and create brand awareness. And I absolutely concur. So we talked about it. And as I was thinking about it, 
um, I thought, well, you know, the whole concept of regality and the regal needle is to treat every one of my clients like they're a queen. And, you know, it was just, it, it was one of those things that you're like, okay, well, regal needle, regally beautiful. I mean, every woman is a queen. And I believe that, you know, every woman should be treated like royalty. And so let's see, oh, there's a color over here I can work with. So that was how we came about with, you know, Regally Beautiful as my Avon business name. And my logo I created based on a font that is from the Art Nouveau era because I am a vintage enthusiast and I really wanted something that would kind of connect to who I am and what I love and so my regally beautiful logo with the initial flowers and you know it looks like a hand illustration i created uh, the logo from that did all the coloring myself and so that's where it came from and i really i had done some research into vintage avon advertisements and the history of avon and i really felt like going back to the beginning because the company is over a hundred years old and the beginning of the company was during the Art Nouveau era. And I really thought, you know, this is going to be a great way to kind of pull the history of the company in with what I love and my personality and just kind of bring it all together. And so that's how uh, we got the logo. That's how we got our colors, the background and all of that good stuff. So that was really, I, I really tried to merge the best of all of it together. Oh goodness, this curler is being a pain. Woo, there we go. Curly, curly, curly. So yeah, that's where that came from. And my, if you could see my office, uh, you would see that I have the paint in my office, my studio is actually the same color format and the same color story as my logo. Cause I really wanted everything to be all together and just cohesive because I'm, I'm a real fan of cohesive branding i'm a real fan of you know symmetry that's why my my phone number for avon is 407-766-0667 the number is symmetrical which i love um oh there we go oh that one's stuck but yeah just a little insight into where my mind was as we got started and ooh, this feels good to get these out i took the little plastic doohickeys out of the foam rollers so that i could get them in my hair and sleep in them and used hairpins to secure them overnight it does work they're not uncomfortable to sleep in but they are kind of a pain to get out because they stick a little bit to the hair okay almost done almost done get out of there so yeah i am so excited okay so going back to talking about avon charmed boy am i excited about that because again art nouveau back in the day totally vintage where's my book oh did i put where did i put that book okay i must have put that book in a safe place because oh my goodness the scent is exquisite it is every bit as exquisite as that peacock bottle all right there we go all right give the hair an old once through to kind of tame the curls There we go. Oh, that's good. Now let's see. How about a tiara? You feel like a tiara today? Oh, there we go. That's better. I had to get one. You know, when, you're, when your business is called Really Beautiful, you have to have a tiara. So 
I really love the Avon Charmed and I wish I had that book in front of me and I know that I put it in a safe place because I didn't want to lose it. And you know how that goes. You put something in a safe place and then you're destined to lose it. So unless, nope, those are all of my Campaign 25 brochures, which I'm really excited about. Campaign 25 is coming. Christmas is coming. Oh, you know, we don't have, we don't have lipstick. Let me find my lipstick. Oh, there we go. So thanks, Carlos. I'll see you soon. So I'll just put this on here. I can't talk while I do lipstick. There we go. That's better. Face done. Now the charmed perfume is unbelievable. The bottle is this 18 karat gold uh, covered uh, peacock with Swarovski crystals. There's 21 Swarovski crystals and it's absolutely phenomenal. Now the price point, it is a luxury price point. You don't want to be misinformed on that, but it is, oh, here we go. That, this does not even do it justice. I, I cannot even. Um, it is. I, I'm speechless because it is so amazing. Uh, and the first chunk of change I get, I'm getting one of those bottles of perfume because not only is it a beautiful piece and it's definitely something that you would want to showcase. Not only is it that the scent is phenomenal. So, all right, so we're all set and ready, and I've got my face on, my tiara on. All right, there we go. It's not clipped on, so we have to think about that. But now, this is what my item, my vintage Avon came in in the mail, and when the box showed up in my mailbox, I'm looking at it going, I didn't order checks, why do I have a check box? Who uses checks anymore? And then I realized, oh wait, there's a shipping label on there, and it's from the Eva, the eBay seller. So here we go. So here we go, we're going to open the box. The only thing I did, I did not look inside, I only cut the tape off. So this is me and you guys, we're all together here, looking at this for the first time. Okay, so let's see. Oh, she packed it real nice. All right. Does anybody remember what this box is? The beauty stamps from 1982. So I was nine years old. This one is a never used. This is new inbox. It still has the fixative, the four stamps, which are all still together, and the gold powder. Like, this is literally brand new in the box, new old stock. Look at that. To me, this was worth every penny of what I overpaid for it on eBay. Um, this is the powder. Look at that. That's the inside of the lid. I remember that. I used to uh, put the fixative um, and then use what was in the lid and put it on my face. And then when I lost, because I had moved from the time uh, that I bought this, I had moved out of state and I had lost the fixative and the little stamps, um, but I had the gold dust and I used to use this as uh, eyeshadow for dance competition. So that is my happy little memory. Um, and looking at it, I just, you know, this is one of those things when you, you look at it, you just go, oh my gosh, such great memories. Actually, I'm gonna put this little piece of foam in here so that it stays put. I don't want anything to fall out. But yeah, this was my vintage Avon delivery that came this week. And I have two more that I have tracked down from my childhood. Because like I said, Avon played, I have significant memories of Avon as a child, uh, both from my Nana and, why is this, there, there come back here, um, and from my neighbor. So I, uh, 
I tracked down some other pieces from my childhood and I'm so excited and I cannot wait for them to get here, but they're going to take a little while. Uh, I got that one from eBay and I've got two coming from Etsy. So, and I can't wait to share them with you guys. I can't wait. But anyway, this is my get ready with me and let me know what you think about the tiara and what other products you think I should try out next time. And I'm going to save this live and put it on my Facebook page and have it live there. And then I will probably share it over on Instagram. Please follow me on Instagram at Wrigley Beautiful. And I'm still waiting for Facebook to allow me to have an at name on Facebook for my Avon page. And you can also reach me at youravon.com slash Wrigley Beautiful or by phone. You can text me or call me. I really prefer text messages because I am not a phone person. I'm a text message person. Um, 407-766-0667 and I will see you guys next time. I don't know when next time will be. I hope to do this. I don't have a YouTube yet. I have a couple of YouTube channels and I have a full setup here that I can shoot for YouTube, but I'm that's something that I should probably think about. Uh, I'm going to do some more research. I'm really loving Avon U and all of the uh, information it's a lot of information to take in uh, but the training is really really great as far as the business goes and everything you need to know i have to really give avon kudos because they have gone above and beyond with the training uh i i really feel prepared and i have worked with a couple of other how shall we say direct marketing companies before and the training went ranged from eh, to completely non-existent and Avon is up here like really really great stuff so love 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 the training love the way that they give you the freedom to advertise and you know be you and not have to how shall I say only use the product photos that are given to you on their resources. You can actually interact with the products and take the pictures of the products and stage them how you would use them. That's, I think that to me is the best part because, you know, every person is so different and how they interact with the product is so different uh, that, you know, what works for one person and what their personality and their lifestyle, you know, that is, every person has their own way. And so my, my emphasis is going to be on vintage Avon because I'm a vintage enthusiast and I love all things uh, vintage style, uh, vintage aesthetic, not vintage values necessarily, uh, but I love the new stuff that's coming out and I love that I can share them, these items and these products my way and give them to people in my way so thank you guys so much for coming i look forward to seeing everyone soon and again campaign 24 campaign 24 is coming i believe campaign 23 ends october 27th so we really want to get started talking about the great products that are going to be in campaign 24 i am there okay let's talk for a second before i go i can't leave can we talk about how awesome this is? Skin So Soft is the best thing ever. We'll talk about that at a later date, but Campaign 24 is coming. And when Campaign 24 gets here, we will do at least another live so we can talk about all the great stuff that's coming. And I appreciate you guys spending time with me. Thank you for spending 40 minutes with me on your Saturday morning. Have a great rest of your weekend. And I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Bye.